morning everyone and welcome to my assembly. On the 10th of July it is Don't Step on a Bee Day. So why are bees so important? As pollinators, bees play a part in every aspect of the ecosystem. They support the growth of trees, flowers and other plants, which serves as food and shelter for creatures large and small. Take a look at this. So what are these bees doing? So these bees have been given a new home and are working together to get it ready to live in. Some bees live alone and are called solitary bees, but others, like these honey bees, live and work together. Here are some facts about bees that you might like to know. So people have valued bees for thousands of years. The ancient Egyptians used honey both as a medicine and as a sweetener for food. They also used bees wax to make candles and embalm the dead and even put perfume beeswax on their heads, which melted and made them smell nice. Not all bees make honey. There are lots of sayings about bees. For example, busy bees, or having a bee in your bonnet. You probably had something to eat today that bees help provide. This includes jam on your toast, fruit, fruit juice, vegetables and cereal. And did you know that solitary bees hardly ever sting? On the 10th of July, it is Don't Step on a Bee Day. The day celebrates bees and encourages people to think of ways that they can help bees. Today, we're going to think about bees, including why they are important, why they need our help, and what we can do to help them. We're also going to think about what we can learn from bees. So, the question is, why are bees important? Pause this video and have a discussion with your class. So did you come up with any of these ideas? They provide us with honey. One hive can produce 14 kilograms of honey. They pollinate flowers, ensuring that we have over one third of the food we need. They are an important part of the food chain. And they provide us with other useful materials such as beeswax. Did you get any of them? So what can we learn from bees? Well, Bees work together and share jobs. Scout bees look for good places to set up hives. The queen bee lays eggs. Worker bees look after the queen bee, feed the young and gather nectar. Each bee has its own task and each bee helps the group in its own way. Bees work incredibly hard. They spend as much time as they can gathering nectar while the weather is good so that they have plenty of food stored for the winter. Bees cooperate with each other. They help each other and get along for the good of the group. So do you think any of these would be useful things for us to do in school? How could we be like the bees? Pause the video and have a discussion with your class. Did you know that bees are in danger? Many bees have been killed by pollution, pesticides, habitat destruction and climate change. Also, bees are being killed by illness and by predators uncommon to the UK, such as the Asian hornet. So what can we do to help? Here are some ideas. Plant nectar-rich flowers and plants such as lavender, cornflower, sage, foxgloves, geraniums, strawberries and beans. Provide water in the summer. Bees need to drink too. Make a bee hotel for solitary bees or a bee B&B in your garden. And don't forget, don't ever step on a bee. So think of ways that you can help bees. 
This might include setting up wildlife area or planter in the school playground. What things could you do to help?